Hi, my name is Dick Bernauer, and this video is about green roof retention. There are so many reasons to put a green roof on your building, but the most popular one by far is for stormwater management. We're going to start this video with retention because I think it's important to understand retention before we move on to the next two videos about detention. Let's start with some definitions on retention and detention. Retention is water captured by the green roof that only leaves as vapor. Detention is water temporarily held by the green roof that flows out at a later time. Notice the main difference is how the water leaves. Retained water leaves as vapor and detained water flows out or down. I think stormwater is easiest visualized with props. Let's go to a demonstration. Think of retention capacity like a cup or like a sponge. In both cases, these materials can hold water, but one, they have a limited capacity and two, water doesn't leave by draining. Here you can see the cup retaining water. And similarly, the sponge retains water, meaning the water doesn't drain out. So this is just like rain in miniature. When it rains, we fill up retention capacity. Retention lowers runoff and that's great. But now we'll add some more water and this generates runoff. See, the cup overflows when it's full. That is runoff. Same thing with the sponge. The runoff from the cup just runs from the top and from the sponge it passes through and runs out the bottom. But the result is the same. Once retention capacity is full, runoff occurs at the same rate as rainfall. And now hopefully you understand what retention is. And a big shout out to Derek. Thank you very much for doing these in advance because Dick and I would have gotten water all over the floor. Wait, wait, we're not done. We haven't gotten to the most important part yet. What happens after it rains? Well, after it rains, the green roof or cup or sponge dries out. This is called evapotranspiration. Evapotranspiration. The process of water escaping as vapor through evaporation plus plant transpiration. Plants got pores underneath their leaves called stomata, through which the plant will breathe or transpires to release vapor into the air. It will draw water from the root zone and releases that into the air as vapor. We are going to refine the original definition of retention. Retention, water captured by the green roof that only leaves as vapor through evapotranspiration. And this is why retention and evapotranspiration are always the same number. If you want to increase retention by five gallons, you need to increase evapotranspiration by five gallons. Let that sink in. Retention and evaporation are always the same. If you want to increase retention, you need to increase evapotranspiration. And evapotranspiration takes time. Well, usually. I think I know a way to speed that up. Thanks for watching this video and learning about green roof retention. Make sure to tune in to video number two to learn about green roof detention. If you like this video series, make sure to follow us on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, PurpleRoof.com and wherever you get your podcasts.